size, size 8, 52, size eight, 62, 62, 62. Or equivalent. Wooly bugger hook. That's yeah, it. everybody's got about 100,000 of these guys. Yeah, 5263 is a wooly bugger hook. 5263, what's the difference? Well, not longer. 3X yeah, and 2X. One X. It's yeah. a 3X two. for long. Yeah, right. Okay, now, I got to remember how I did this. This is a 2 Where's my blue pad? <laughs> oh, man, this one takes lead. <laughs> I never, this, this is the only fly I ever fish that's got lead on it, I think. Except for your, uh, your, uh, Whoa. Oh, I take it back. Sheep Creek's got lead on. What was underneath there? I heard it go so. Uh, thread, a uh, threader. I didn't even see it. Oh, I heard it. Stand stuff. 15,000 is lead. I think it's closer to 10,000. <laughs> I heard it hit down at that end. Oh, that's uh, anyway, so I put down, you know, a typical thing with lead, you guys, just put down a base of thread, and, and then uh, I usually figure about an inch or so. I, I'm so cheap, I don't like to cut off a length of lead and work off that. I like to work off the spool, so. So I do it the hard way. Especially if I get my thread tangled in it. Is that, do you know what size that is? Lead, 15 yeah. thousandths. Small stuff. Yeah, I don't think it's 15,000s. It says right on the spool. <laughs> that so should be like it. Yeah. This would have sounded to me. I used 15,000s and I think it's different. Yeah, it sounds like you hit a chair. So I put about, uh, they told me about 10 wraps or so, something like that away. It's not too fussy. So then what, what he, what he was, they tell me, and this is what I do on it, I get his, cut, cut a chunk of this marabou off as close as you can to the, to the shaft of the feather, and I cut about, I don't know, half inch of it or so, something like that, so it's like, you can see in the thing there, it's, yeah, that's what I mean. much. And then, I let, arrange it so that about the length of the, it, it sticks out about the length of the hook, is what, and this is what I'm repeating from the guys I got from, about the length of the hook worth in the back, so before I, sh I should get ahead of myself, after you tie in that lead, wrap back, wrap back pretty close to the bend, about an eighth inch from the bend or so, maybe even closer than that, above the, above the barb of the hook, okay, can you see it on that thing there, eh, he hasn't got it straight on it, so. <clears throat> but it's above the part of the hook. And then tie it in so that, so that the part projecting out the back is about the length of the hook, okay? Okay, that's better. So then you put a couple of wraps around that, that is the tail. Then lift your dog on the feathers up and wrap in front of it. And wrap up about, uh, you're going to do this four times, so you're going to want about a quarter of the way up. And you, about four or five wraps up. And then you take this stuff we have left sticking up here mm -hmm. and you twist it into kind of like a little rope thing. Like yay. And then wrap it around the hook. Because that forms the body. And then you run a then you're going to tie another one just like that, and you just keep repeating that. That, ke that keeps the hook from showing in between your, your lengths of, uh, of uh, marabou. Then again, I cut it off. Then you do a little bit, same thing again. I shorten it up a little bit. Put that guy in there, turn it around, just get a couple of ties on it. Wet. It's a pain in the butt. And then you, again, you, this time you wrap about halfway up the hook chain. And take that, I don't know if you can see it on the thing there or not. 
but kind of twist it around a little bit to make a rope out of it. It doesn't really stay twisted anyway, but and then run it around. Catch it like that. You get that piece sticking out, then, you, then you, once you got it going, you just go ahead and you keep doing it again. Theoretically, you, 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 they're telling me four times if you can make it. I mean, three would matter. Now. Is it losing this guy in there? Hold it in place. probably need the 5263 then, right? The 3x three, three long shank to do a four. Well, I, I get four out of this guy. <coughs> it depends yeah. on how, how much four would you wrap the twisted yeah. one. Yeah, you, you, you need to, when, you, when you start, you need to figure you're going to do four. So when you start, you, you, you divide it, you know, by quarters. And Are you up at the head? No, I just, there's a couple of If you've got it full at three, you, you just quit it. You don't have any more room in the head, do you? Oh, yeah, I got it. Now that you're done with it. Does it matter if you put three or four there? No, so it's it doesn't yeah. matter. Okay. Because you said wrap three and you mentioned four there. Yeah. So you can go. That one says way. three? That says four, doesn't it? That says three. three. Oh no, continue three times after you did the first one. So it ends up total four. Okay. But you lose the box, so yeah, four times. Yeah. That makes sense. You're going to have a very small thread head. You're going to have more of a So mine, I ended up with uh, four of one there. When you, when you pull them up, you can see them. Can you see in the camera there? You pull like this. Well, look at the camera, look at the screen, see how it looks? What does, what does that mean? You see it up there? See yeah, you got your four shots. Yeah, that's, that's what you should, that's what you, that's and then in between them is the body you've twisted in there. So you, and then you just pat a little head on here and here. Okay, well, there. Okay, thank you. If you only get three, you only get three. You know, fish can't count. That's what we talked about earlier. And I got actually I got a bigger head on here than I normally end up with. Then I get out my special two finger whip finisher here and whip finish the heck out of this guy. Yeah. And that's it.